G'day guys and welcome back to Stitch Up and another episode of our Vauxhall Tycoon a special series this is SCM's Industrial uh, Railways mod uh, brilliant if you're just joining us in this series we're playing with mainly just Scaleman's uh, Industrial Railways mod where we can grab these lovely trains like this uh, what is it called again this um, uh, Manzanari class um, and um, the Vinalopo class and things like that uh, he's one of the Vinalopo no Manzanari as well here's a Vinalopo a bit slower uh, that one there but yeah and um, we're playing with just trains in this one no trucks so we have a couple more requests here and we've simplified some stuff over here in the coal network so why don't you enjoy the stitch up intro and i'll see you in just a sec Okay, so um, uh, just to let you know, now I'm not going to, um, I basically decided not to do this on camera, but I just wanted to show you what I was doing. So I simplified the network over here. So let's talk about trains that need to come through and visit here. Um, at the moment, every train that needs to come through will visit, um, will basically visit, should should turn this way and will visit uh, here. So, um, so this guy here, for example, he's dropped off wood previously, he has to pass through so I think he'll probably he, he will probably so this this one here goes in this direction and this one goes in this direction this has one uh, platform that goes in either direction so we either have a pass through which this guy's not going to use even though he's not stopping here at Ramar um, but either way he'll come through here and he'll get back onto that this track here is on the right hand side the opposite of what we normally do and it comes through to here it'll drop in the coal and go back down to this return path here and the return path is low enough to drop back into here this station's now being triple tracked and it's got uh, approaches and um, whatever the opposite of an approach is um, and we've also triple tracked up this station with approaches and a pass through that does work so that's all pretty good that is pretty nice we also have so if we have a look here and I go to logistics we have uh, this guy being delivered here but we do have one other customer in this town and he wants coal bit of a shame he's a little bit outside of our reach as well so we'd have to put in another station but that's okay we could we could do that um, if but if we have a look over here um, we we then have uh, this guy here who has um, the iron ore and connecting here hit logistics and you can see so far we've got these two so this is all pretty good now we have a customer who would like um, uh, they would like iron bars and another customer who would like wood beams and just to jump into our research and have a bit of a look over here in fact we can do it this way click on this and we'd see here I've got the wood processing so I can do the wood beams and I've got the iron smelting so I did those as well just while we prepare up and of course we've got ourselves a little bit of money to play with 650,000 pounds so that should be pretty good I want to get passengers in this episode and just get some passengers because we've got three towns here and I think if we get the passengers on the main line we should do pretty well now I was thinking about roll in, roll out, or passengers that want to flip, in, like the trains that uh, need to flip. But in this case, if I have the trains that have, uh, the, they look the same at either end, no engine on the end and carriages, it's the same. Uh, and they can just go in and then go straight back out. That's how I'm playing my other playthrough. For this one, I think I want roll in, roll out facility for all of those guys. So what I want to do is come up with a simple um, train uh, station that we think we're going to need. Now I think 100 meters is my limit here as well I'm going to build on pause so we can we can take things away and re-add them um, and if we go to rails and we go to step uh, stations I want the industrial passenger station and let me put him like this to start with and we'll stick him up here just for now we're on pause so we would get the money back if we accidentally placed him should we test the theory 16,000 there it is I'm still on pause and I delete 16,000. So yes, you get that back. So the, the um, uh, as we have worked out, and thank you for those who commented, if you unpause it and let the game play, it's a different pause session, so you de therefore don't get it. So it's not like Factorio, we can just put everything down and come and pick it all up later and get everything back, um, which is what I thought it might be. But this prevents if you make accidents or you want to try something, uh, this is quite good for that. So what we want is I'm going to try a single, uh, single passenger 
so just single one and we want the full length now I think 100 meters is is that is is the size that we have to do I'm just going to borrow a few of these to get a bit of infrastructure 200,000 so that would work and if I have a look here that would actually um, ooh, now we could see about this because here's the main line here and I was thinking I could put a passenger train in here and I can get it to roll in and roll out quite nicely so that would work um, yeah that would work and that gets the rest of the town too so if I do it there that gets everyone around here if I put it right up against that it gets everyone let me see I think that's a pretty good place to put that so let's put him there he'll be a hundred thousand um, and he gets most of the town and we could put another another one in a bit later so we could possibly I want him to connect up to this track here so let's line him up with this I probably should just put him there um, but I think I'll get him up here he gets more of the houses so let's do that a hundred thousand there yep and so that's how that would work and if we then go uh, before we let's put the next one in as well so we might just do one at each of them with the future so I'm thinking I could actually put another one over here somewhere um, and just put him in sort of like there across ways that'd be this guy taking care of all this and then all up here could be taken care of the next one and I could roll him in and then roll him back out and he would go out that way but I don't know how a train would then visit here and then there so it's almost like you want to roll out and come back down to it so you come in go to it and then roll straight back out onto the line I think we'd probably do that as a spur line this one's a little branch then the other one could be a spur okay um so stay on pause and let's put one more of those stations in because it will remember what I've got now the next one I think over here here's a really good spot to do that um, and I need to put another I'm going to have to put infrastructure over here anyway because I need to put a different uh, I want to get this guy taken care of let's go to passenger station we'll have a look at some options so I could quite possibly put it there and get most of the town and I can roll in and turn around a bit so that would kind of work I'm tem very tempted to just put it there and you basically could have a thing that comes across here down there connects in then comes back out and he goes back onto the clockwise motion so that would work for most of it and then I think the next one you could quite easily put it here and do the the, the rolling about there as well the towns aren't going to grow very fast uh, in this series I don't think so we're pretty good um, let me see if I want to do that I think I'm just going to do this guy here and then do our turnabout and stuff so we're going to put a hundred meter one here so he's only 46,000 the other the one please tell me I built it at the right grade I think because he was knocking into the ground yeah he was he was getting right into he's getting into that so to put him so close but that was quite expensive um, so let's put this guy here and see him nice and close to the township and let's put him there and I think that's a good spot 46,000 means we can place a few more of these guys as well which would be good okay let's put uh well we can definitely put one more so let's put one more so 100 meters and we here's the main line here so what i'm thinking as well is we could quite possibly just go put him in here and it, we could have a line that comes into this and then come straight out to it so that would take care of all of those people there um but if i put him here i suppose i could get rid of that line a bit see that doesn't get these guys though so if i put this guy here he will so I wonder if I could just fix this. Oh, that could be good. Let's put him in there. That gets everyone. That's on the main line as well. Let's just do that. And everyone can everyone can actually go. He can go through there or he can pass through. I'm going to do that. I think that's quite good. Let's do this. Let's get him up further a bit. I'm just watching these houses down below. Because he's taking care of everything sort of south of this main street that goes up there. So let's put him here. Hmm. Uh, let's put him there that's brilliant okay so that actually gets look at him he's actually part of the infrastructure already so that's pretty good so we've got one two three uh, I think we should just do that and then and then expand the network a bit later on so I'm going to unpause the game and let it take off a bit um, and now we're going to provision up a train uh, rightio let's see here so we've got a depot we've got to buy we get a I do want the Manzan uh, the Manzanari at 19 because he's um, Ooh, 70 kilowatts, 75 for the Vinalopo. 
25, 35 k's an hour. I think I want the Manzanari for that. It's a beautiful train as well. And it'll look quite cool with the, these wooden passengers. So if I just go on to passengers here and I do this one, I go at 14,000, I go uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's see, the length is 63 meters, which is interesting. Um, and I think I will go uh, borrow and borrow the whole lot here. And so we'll do that at 78,000. Um, and then I want to duplicate that, don't I? Yeah. And I'd need to set up, I probably should have set up the, uh, the, the particular um, route first, but we'll get this going. So it's going to be here uh, and it's going to be transfer. And then it's going to be, yeah, so there transfer, and then here transfer. Yep, and then the last one is going to be here transfer. We need to put the infrastructure in as well. This is going to be uh, save as, and it's going to be... Uh, I'm going to do this as passenger route one. Actually, passenger route 100. Let's do that. Okay, so that's good. So that'll be there. Let's get the rest of the infrastructure in. So if I do that, he's on that one. So we now need to get on this guy and set him up as passenger route one as well. And at the middle one, as in at this one here, I'm going to put a timing stop on it. So I'm going to say edit. And I'm going to go in the middle of this. So here, add the order and it's going to be wait. Before you load the people, we're going to say wait 45 seconds. And hopefully that'll keep these two trains apart from each other. And I'm going to move this guy up. Hang on. Um, oh yeah, here we go. So we do that and it's going to be there. Yep. So get the passengers off, then do your timing wait, then then uh, uh, load new passengers. I could do it anywhere actually, but we'll put it in the middle, so that should be pretty good. Let's just try that. Okay, so we'll do that, and then I need to put down the rest of the infrastructure. So you're fine, uh, and in fact signaling your, well you are, you've got a block signal there, and then I think you just need another block signal here. We're using the little, cute little si signals there. Um, industrial block yeah so you're there okay that's good okay let's go and put in the industrial narrow gauge and we want this to be here so let's see about this i want as much as i can of a curve ah, i can't do it ooh, ooh, ooh. thought we might be in trouble here let's do that and that okay that would work that would work Okay, and get rid. Yep. And now we need to get it back onto the main line heading that way. So we do the uh, industrial narrow gauge and we'll do this. Yeah, that's brilliant. Okay, so we can now say that this one, now that we've put extra um, intersections in, we now need to go ahead and go signals, industrial pre here and industrial pre here. Coming out of the station, I'll give him a standard industrial, not that we need it, but I'll just do it anyway. Uh, and coming out of here, let's see. So this section here, you're making a decision and that's fine. And then at this point, we'll go just a standard, oh, sorry, a standard industrial signal, a block signal. I'll just call them block and chains, I should. I should be blocking and chaining. Perfect. Everyone else good? Block and chain, block and chain good 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 okay so that's that part done uh, we can set these two trains off next to each other and see about that timing as well let's see about that get rid of this little one who didn't accept coal anymore was it our friend down here yeah it was that's good because i didn't want him to accept coal i want these guys to ask for coal that would be brilliant um, but we might start sorting out this in a sec okay so we've got this now this is a very specific thing that i want here so we know that it would be, uh, so it's going to stop the town from growing a bit. Um, so let's do this first. Ooh, we could have the same situation here. Oop, let's do that. Uh, yeah, let's just do it there. Just stop him from growing completely. Why not? And then I'm just going to do this like this. So here, because I want to give it a little bit of room to grow. Okay. And uh, before we forget, let's get rid of this. And then what we'll do is, 
and I might see about this because I wanted to make this a let me do this yep you go and you go in I just want this to be exactly the same yep married in both directions and that's like that okay so that is nice but then this one here is going to be now do I do it like this because what I'm thinking is we do we do this uh, yeah I think we need to just do this and then this now I'm then gonna say that any train in this whole block is just that's a single block no one else comes in and he shouldn't need to I, I will probably get these trains running closer together but we'll say there's a there's that uh, and then I'm gonna go um, two directions here so here and here and then you're going straight out for that which is a, a block signal so chain signal for a decision to be made there but then a two directional block signal here on either way and um, this is this I'm gonna leave unsignaled and they should be able to just go okay I think that'll work let's see um, can we go ahead and release these trains I believe we can uh, let's go release all okay and we'll see these guys come out so this will be the next the next nice thing to happen we'll start building factories this episode as well I believe uh, the Manzanari class and let's see so these guys will hold 10 per so we have the ability for 40 customers there and 40 customers there They'll go right next to each other. They will take the pass through uh, Because it's a shorter route. So let's watch him here. Definitely take the pass through um, oh, <laughs> And he didn't brilliant so he didn't take the pass through. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. A shorter route should have done it, but didn't do it. Lovely. Uh, I think I could set a waypoint for this. Yeah, I could possibly set that route with a waypoint. Let's try it. Edit. So before you get to Anthony Nudoir, we want to say uh, add. Uh, ooh, can you do it? No. Add order. Wait. Refit. No. Ah, yes, I could go, uh, so it'll be, uh, what is it, stations, industrial waypoints. Quite cute, actually. That is very cute. Okay, so let's do a little signal box, and let's say you need to be here, uh, and I'm going to do it there. So let's do it there. That's quite cute. Industrial waypoint. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to say to the passenger train um, and in fact let's try this let's send this guy back to depot All right, let's send this guy back to depot and let's send this guy back to depot yeah so we go speed three these two both jump in and we go speed one and I'll say right that's great but your route now includes before here we want um, edit add stop and it's going to be before we get there we're going to go here it's just a go through a destination without a stop brilliant we could have this as the timing stop actually but we'll just leave it so that's how that is i think that works so entity one is the industrial waypoint uh can we rename this waypoint one let's do that don't know why it's called Anthony. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, how big are these trains, by the way? Sorry, I didn't check that. It's the last thing. 63 meters. I did check that. Okay, so we're on speed one and we go release all. So let's watch these guys come out and see if they behave differently now. The Manzanari class with four carriages. This is Scaleman's uh, brand new model, actually, this little uh, piece of rolling stock. It's just beautiful, these carriages. Look at them. Look at the bogeys. <laughs> He's very clever. Okay, are you going to do the right thing this time? I like that they're next to each other. Um, I do like that we could possibly move the waypoint down to here and have it uh, as a timing point. Um, yeah, but at least we know that he'll always go this way, which is pretty good. It just keeps things free for the other for the other ones. Um, so that's not too bad. I like the idea of a waypoint. I'm going to go speed three and we'll just see the um, how these guys all interact with each other. Uh, this is auto signaling at 110 meters, so they should look at him. He shouldn't stop. He just keeps going. He is stopping because this is a Vinalopo. That's a Manzanari. Oh, we need to we need to f to sort of fix this up. We'll fix this up a bit. 
this guy goes through but I might get a, a, a pass through there I might be able to get a pass through here that could be cool yeah that could be nice the iron bar has gone bankrupt oh no okay um, that means these guys are slowed down let's see about this so he's got passengers has he um, yeah what do you got there you've got oh god you've got all of them yeah well the passengers would have been backlog actually let's pause and you've got an earlier full load okay so that's good you get to the first stop uh, and let's see him go single tracking so yeah he'll go into here now let's see so he does this we get a thousand pounds now he's waiting 45 seconds and that's in the high speed time so if we have a look here um, and let's wait this guy should now so at least this one takes off a bit and these guys so let's see the separation between the two he's getting to this going through that station yeah they are kind of just behind each other and he's got a full load still but yeah this guy's going in here now we'll wait and see how this all works out because these two trains are going to try and use this this infrastructure together so i'm hoping let's see about this he should wait oh god please tell me you'll wait yep lovely now he knows that loop is free he can go off and do that and it's brilliant Okay, there are minor tweaks we can do in all of that that'll help us out. Okay, uh, now let's do, uh, well, this guy over here can have uh, some wood put in for sure. So we've got, we definitely want a passenger station in here, but we also want to put another industrial station in as well. So let's see about that. Um, Yeah, because we've got Stitch Up Limited, don't we? We do, we do, we do. Okay, uh, what we'll do, let's go ahead and put in the infrastructure first. So let's do terraforming. And this is going to cost us a little bit, uh, but let's do, ooh, let's do that. And then this, just to get rid of some of that. Uh, now, I need a uh, station, and it's going to be industrial passenger, uh, sorry, industrial freight. And, and we want... Um, Okay, 100 meters, and I definitely need him to be two platforms. He's a bit bigger now. Just thinking about how much this sort of covers, because this guy covers that, so this guy needs to cover kind of this. Man, the the that is in a really bad spot. That um, oh, that's in a really bad spot, isn't it? The headquarters. He is. I think I might get rid of. How much is it to get rid of this? Get rid of that. How much is it to get rid of this guy? 38,000. I think you could solve a lot of my problems. That's not too bad. I'm going to just get to get rid of that. Okay, station. So I'm going to put this guy in here. And he can go right down, actually, because he's going to get over here. He can go right down. And then, actually, you know what? Let's put the other station in first, this this one. Let's put the passenger station in. We've got a bit of money here, so we'll just spend it. Uh, passenger station, and it's gonna be 100 meters, so you need to be all the way down to there. Perfect, but let's put you here instead. Yep, and then uh, industrial freight right next to it. And I'm looking to see, is this going to be a problem? let us It is going to be a problem because I've got this here. So let's put this guy here. So not amazing that they couldn't be next to each other, but it has to be like that. Because now what we're going to do is use the industrial narrow gauge. And we're going to come around here. Uh, and we're going to do this. And then we're going to go like this. And please tell me this can connect up. Yeah brilliant it does okay so now we know this has to be we can afford to get a bit of room out here spur line straight down uh, it's gonna be there so that means it's gonna be there and we get rid so we've got similar to what we had earlier but it's a bigger loop here and it's industrial as well so i wonder whether or not we should have just double track this bit but i think we should try and keep it a little bit complex just makes it a bit different from our other series with these little these little extra bits that's not too bad yep let's just have this done nicely um i think i'll unpause it now because we put all this infrastructure in i think i'll just get rid of that before we forget it no, let's leave it pause for a sec. Okay, a narrow 
and let's see this one here is where we sort of need to go so everyone needs to get up to this one and if I do that on the same run what we might be able to do if we go one more is yeah we might be able to have it like this hmm that works and then that works okay that is quite neat too that is good okay so we'll now say that we need a chain signal here here and here for everyone who's coming out and then we know this is going to be a simple one way so this is going to be one way one way this way yep yep one way coming out and then we know that uh, this is going to be one way but it's going to be a chain signal and then coming off it it's going to be a block still going the one way here uh, we'll put a chain here for now yeah chain there then I'll leave the signaling there and we'll just put just before the station one way, one way, one way. So now we've got a multitude of um, of uh, sort of uh, freight trains that can come in as well as a passenger, a passenger train. And that would do it just before Ramar, wouldn't it? It would do it just before Ramar. So let's find our little, here we are, this is the one. So let's grab this one and let's say, uh, okay, so just before Ramar, I need to edit the route and just before that I want to add another stop of here and it's going to be a transfer so uh, what are you Ramar Sir Sud and then Ramar Sir Annex um, right okay cool so let's see how that goes he's okay he is saved and we are unpaused and we'll see about this. I don't know if this guy will already plan. He might have already planned to go here, so he may not get it on this pass. Uh, these trains are all close to each other. I think I need a pass through over here. Yeah, I think I will put a pass through. And especially these these two wood trains are going to visit. Um, actually, could get rid of this. Uh, no, I won't. I think I'll keep it there. Can I put another one in here? Or do I want to put another another one over this side? I think I do. I don't think I want to do the same thing as I did over here uh, in 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 here. It's too similar, but I think it's a chance also to say right these guys can come out to there, um, and also the delivery to here as well. I could put a spur line in straight away because it depends what other product he needs to bring in. Who went bankrupt? Iron ore. Who went? Ah, it's these guys. It's him there, isn't it? Yep, it is. Who's the new product? Anthony wants coal. These guys will not stop asking for coal. So that's interesting, that is. That is well interesting. It's a pain, that one, asking for coal. Okay, we definitely want to start a wood factory as well. So let's get, the, let's get these guys going. They don't have an alert yet, but they are offering quite a bit of money for that. And we just put the infrastructure in because you look at that one, he's connected up and it's lovely. Okay, so uh, we have uh, just 238,000. So let's put this in over here. Uh, I want to put in, first of all, so that's that I just want to put myself in a um, what do you got there uh, a ooh, it is a warehouse I'm gonna do it economically at this price and I'm just gonna say right here's a warehouse let's put it here and I want you to be what are we making I want you to make wood beams not wood planks wood beams so this is going to be wood beams and let's think about where we want this to be so you're going to be there okay factories and we've got a circular saw and we'll put the apparatus this way so we'll make it like that uh, is this going to be yeah i want to do this with a little bit of room so let's do uh one for now and make you on a wood beam and Conveyor belts. Oh, let's put conveyor devices first. Okay, conveyor devices, not filters. Um, we want one coming out of here is better because it'll get both. So that's brilliant. Uh, let's do that. And then let's do that for coming in. So that's nice. It keeps it all the same, which is good. 
Um, and what we want to do is um, let's lay this as best we can with see if we can do this yeah we can I should I think that's not too tight is it yeah it's pretty good let's do that and then we can go up here so there okay good 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 okay so you're doing your thing and then we just need to swap out this guy so he's outputting wood yep so wood and you're inputting I will go speed three just to speed things up here and we'll start to see these guys come in and backlog. Uh, we also need, we've got 116,000. Let's get ourselves another train and say, uh, now with this other train, do we want to do anything else? Hmm, are you in reach of that? You're just outside, aren't you? Yeah, you're just outside. Look, I was thinking the new one might be in there, but he's not. Um, so I think, do we want to pick up some coal and drop it over to these people and then drop this over here? So we do the coal. No, but we could pick up a bit more of this, the iron ore. How's the iron ore going? Not really getting there, is he? So we, let's pick up some wood and some iron ore. So he'd go to here and then he'd go to there. Uh, oh, iron bar. The iron bar is on. Now let's see who the iron bar, because this will be the problem. I just put this in here and if he doesn't reach it, Look at that, he doesn't reach it. So problem with the train only playthrough is you're gonna to have to have a lot of stations. <laughs> uh, and I'm just discovering this now uh, because we can't just wait for them to, businesses to pop up in the right area. Uh, ooh, this is gonna be a problem. Gee, I wonder if we, hmm, I wonder if we introduce some trucks. Game is paused. If I was to go to roads and garages, game is still poor. So if I put garage down, I should get it back. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's put garage. See, it's only going to put a garage in this area too. So let's just see about that. Let's just put it there. All right, game is paused. And then I go here and I go um, buy. Uh, any of these trucks kind of... Hmm. I wonder if I just enable a mod and get some very specific truck and say that's the only type of truck we can have. It's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Could I use conveyor belts? No. It's 30,000. Do I get it back? Yes, I do. Uh, and I'll just chip off this bit at the end. Uh, right. Okay, cool. So, hmm. Okay, let's stick with the plan at the moment. Uh, unpause the game now that we've deleted that, and let's at least get these guys up here. Oop, we don't want that to be gone. Okay, so we're starting to produce these planks, so that's going to be great. Uh, I will get a different train here, though. Let's get a uh, Navia class 25, um, just because. Let's get the yellow one, and let's say wooden planks, please. Uh, wooden beams, actually. Is it beams? Is it beams? What do you take? You're taking eight, but it's not suitable for this depot, so they're very small. We're going to have to uh, definitely research some bigger rolling stock is going to be the next thing. Let's get rid of that for the moment. Um, definitely wooden beams. Okay, brilliant. So Vinalopo yellow, and we go wooden beams, and we just go here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can swap the engine out later. Eight. Let's do nine and ten. You're 77 in length. Let's do 11 and 12. 91 and 13 and 14, 105. So I'm going to do one less. Yep, so you're 98 meters, so that's all right. Um, and your wooden beams. Okay, rolling stock would be good here because we can we can either swap these guys out when we get bigger ones, but we can definitely swap out the engine if we need to. So 142,000, yes please. And we want you to go add stop. It'll be here, uh, load of the full, and here, unload of the full. And it'll be called, uh, ooh, did we just save as, wood beam to Ramar. And I can't say Ramar anymore because two towns are now, now called Ramar. And they, no, no, this is Ramar, just two different, two different, um, uh, different sort of uh, freight stations. Okay. Okay. 
Anthony Sud. Oh, hang on. Are you picking up from uh, Anthony Sud? Yeah, because Anthony... Uh, I thought it might have been the waypoint there for a moment. Okay, that's good, good, good. So you're good and empty and you're off and running. And that's another type of train. So lots of trains. Uh, oh, why did you do that? Oh, no, you did that because of this. I, I thought you missed this completely. How much are we making from passengers at the moment? 22000 a month. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, in a series where we're not making very much money anyway, it's actually not too bad, actually. Yeah, it isn't too bad. I'm, I'm all right with that. And, of course, we're about to get payoff of this guy because he's going to take four times... Uh, what do we do? 12 minus 1, 11. Five. So he's going to get 44 sortie, um, I believe. Uh, he's going to get 44 loads of this at 550. Is that? That's quite a bit. Can I put this in the calculator and see how much that is? Calculator. Is that right? 44 times 550. Should he get 24,200? Should we find out? We should find out. Here we go. Uh, are you loading up? Yes. So this is the... So we have the Vinalopo, the Manzanari... Sorry, Vinalopo somewhere. The Manzanari, got a few of them, including the passenger. And now we've got this one, which is the... What's the name of you? Hang on. Details. The Navia. The Navia class. I like this waypoint. The waypoint, the waypoint is actually really, really cute. Um, but also, I just like that it works like that. Look at the overhanging bit here for the signaling so the guys can, when they run all the manual signals, they can look down the line. So that's all quite cool. I think we will move the timing stop and we'll put the waypoint here. But we want it to time. So what the way I can fix that without moving the waypoint is I can move this track down a bit and say, right, here's the little siding here. But the, but they, they jump into that a lot earlier. And that's where they wait. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, he's loaded up. Look at this guy. Look at him. Come on, I want 24,000. The other thing we could do is we can start putting in uh, some multiple tracks so we can start saying right and they're still going it's not in the opposite direction but we can start running the other tracks next to it um, and then just run like a second line down um, that would kind of work as well um, yeah that would work okay these guys are both racing for the point this guy's got here first thank goodness Okay, so I do like that we're getting a bit of, look at this, we've got quite a bit of train happening here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, uh, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, brilliant. And everyone's making a bit of money, so it's pretty good. Okay, how many are you? Yeah, so you're not oversupplied, which is good. We just got the right amount here coming in here for the coal. We will, of course, have to get coal up onto the network and into here because up here is where we're going to start making things out of this uh here's a nice little thing let's just do this while we've got while we've got the last little bit of time i i just want to boop, boop. let me just get rid of all that and then get rid of that as well uh and, and wait we want to see that payoff here so where's the he's coming down there it's taking forever isn't he um so let's get this looking good. So we can do quite an approach here, which is good. And then we'll try and come off at this point and do that. Yep, that's a nice way of doing that. I like that. Um, still got a bit of time there. So let's go here with the uh, block, uh, blocks, uh, sorry, chain signal here with a block signal. Uh, and then going straight into this, it's going to be one way, one way block. And now we want to lay some more track. How's our friend? Is our friend getting in there? He's going to come into here, isn't he? Here he goes. No, this is the other guy. This is our um. This is him. Where is he? Oh, he's got ages. Okay, fixing this up, and then we might speed it up to do that. Okay, so I'll work backwards and do that. I'll work backwards. Oop. I'll work backwards. Yep, and do that. That's a nice little way of doing that. Very good, very good. Jump into signals and put in a block, block, and a, no, sorry, a uh, chain, chain, and chain. Uh, and then over here, I'm just going to do ooh, that way for a block. You're already doing that. I'm right down to the money situation. Ooh, geez. 
Someone deliver something, please. Well, you only need the passengers to go through one station and they'll deliver. He's coming through here. We do need to get that pass through at some point. Are they plants on top? They are. Oh, the, es the, little, the little escalator is fantastic. Stairs, the little stairs are great. Yeah, it's good. I like that. Crossing over. Okay, so let's go speed three and watch our, um, our train roar down. Okay, waiting for him to turn out. Now, that, now he should transverse this. Here we go. This is interesting. This guy should wait. Yeah, he'll wait until this guy gets off. Because this is a single section, double, double direction. So he waited, although I didn't have that signaled up correct. I didn't have that ready. So I need this to be slightly different. Um, ooh, jeez. Okay. Let me see about that. Because he's a long train. He goes over there. And I didn't quite have that done. So let me do a regular block and just put it, uh, well, let's put an industrial uh, here. Uh, sorry, a pre. If you go, if you go, I'm on speed one. If you go there, that should, this guy should now move forward. So what are you doing? You should be yellow. Yeah, you're yellow. Oh, oh, oh. So if I do this here, Yeah, I do that as a block signal and he then moves in. It still protects the train quite well. Um, but it, there's a decision to be made there. So I really think it should be a, um, a chain signal. Uh, same with this guy. I think we've got this guy sitting there, but he's still over. I think this this is quite a long train. These are small sections. So we'll jump, jump in and do the same thing there. And he will get in there and do it. It's a good example because we do need this network to be... Um, robust for when we start getting extra um, extra trains. Um, I think as well, I'll do something different here. I'll do another pass through. If you're going straight ahead, you take the lane on the left. And then if you're going the other way, you go, you go that way. Um, and I might double track this up eventually. But um, yeah, this guy is waiting here, which is not brilliant. Um, and the drop off, let's just wait. Here we go. We're going to get the, the almighty payoff here. Are you still 550? Yes, you are. Well, let's see about it. So he starts to unload. The wood beams are going 28,400. And that was a nice quick drop off, wasn't it? That was good. So let's start paying down some of this. And um, yeah, I think we'll leave the episode here. Uh, I think I could just put in this extra bit here to make it slightly nicer. So let's just do that. I think I want to do something slightly different here. Industrial, um, and I want... Mm, so you're there. Let's do, ooh, let's do this. Let's see if we could go, um, level this out a bit. Level that out. Uh, and I want this to be narrow. Um, and I think if I could do, ooh. Is that where it needs to be? Yeah, it needs to be there. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, I probably could have seen that this is a longer section. So if we go here, this guy has to make this decision. And he's going to be green there, isn't he? No, he's red. Okay, but then we'll do... Uh, oh, I need to borrow that. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's put this here with this guy here. Still one way. And then we put this guy here. And this guy, oh, hang on, he's got to be that one. And then that one there, okay. Will that work? It might. And then I'm just going to put this here and here as the two-way. And hopefully, he's got a yellow signal there. Hopefully, uh, if we do this and unpause it, do we get this guy moving in? Yeah, even with him in the block, this guy starts to move forward. That is quite nice. I think this guy's now routing up to come along here. So we might have solved that. It's not too bad, actually, because we're actually seeing this guy over here. Um, yeah, we're seeing this guy come down as well, which is good. Uh, let's go speed two while we see a bit of action, uh, because no doubt another train will come through. 
yeah and there's another one right behind it as well so that's quite good we get to see this interaction a little bit more this train's going to be coming through i would have thought he'd take the other one this one's in here i'm worried we're going to get kissing trains over here let's see about this you'll go that way and you'll go that way so that works out nicely those two guys they did their logic pretty good once he clears this section one of them will go this train behind will probably just hold back let's go speed three while we watch this we may get some issues still would it kill this guy to take a, a pass through i might set him up to do the pass through so he stopped there but i might set this guy up to do another pass through here with a waypoint i think that could be good because that means he'll stay away it's the same as the wood over there he'll stay away from that so i think we need to keep a bit of an eye on this we have these guys doing this um yeah maybe a little bit of an eye on this because there's nothing to say we can't double track this and it was just quite nice um i think i think the best thing we could do is get rid of this because that's not too bad because if you're going straight ahead you could only do it by this that's better that's way better oh nice very good and side by side double tracks could be interesting i uh, allow trains just to keep moving next to each other hopefully allowing each other yeah hopefully they Hmm, we'll see. But we're making buck. Look at this. I know I'm on speed three, but I want to see the trains going crazy. Uh, they are doing pretty well. I don't think anyone stopped, although we haven't seen a train for a little bit. Yeah, we'll start to have a look at some stuff. I need to double track that as well. Guys, there's heaps of things to do. Um, this has been a productive little episode though. Um, and I want to um, get in the position where we can just get heaps of money coming in, get some more research going um, and start supplying some other stuff. We've now actually just got this customer asking us for wooden planks. So next episode, we bring wooden planks to here and this particular freight station is already connected in with it, which is fantastic. Look at that. So that'll be a nice quick win for us, wooden planks next to the wooden beams. Okay, don't forget to to comment uh, if you like what you see if you have suggestions for me uh, please subscribe to stitch up and i'll see you in the next episode of this playthrough of voxel tycoon this is scaleman's industrial railways mod cheers <laughs>